Hi there, my name is Lo. Welcome to my channel where I discuss everything between Hermes and grocery bags. Today I will be discussing the Tots Gomino bag with you, not because I am the new proud owner of this bag, but because I had ordered another bag and this bag has accidentally been sent to me. But I figured now that it's here, I might as well just give you a little review and tour of the bag because I don't think there are any or at least not much videos about this bag. And it is actually a pretty cute bag. I'm not going to keep it though. And I will also explain you why. Let's get it out of its dust bag. And there you have it, the Tots Gomino Studded Suede Shoulder Bag. This comes in a beautiful, gorgeous blue color. This bag, as far as I can tell by the name and by the appearance, is inspired by the more well-known, I think, Tots Gomino loafers. They are these loafers that have also this studded appearance on the back of the shoe and I'll insert a picture just so that you know what I'm talking about. So this is a suede bag with I would say plastic type of studs. I looked up the word gomino because I thought it might actually be a word and according to Google Translate it is Italian for rubber pad. I can imagine that the studs that are on the back of the Gomino lovers are perhaps made of rubber. For these studs, I would say they are just made of a fairly hard plastic. I'll give you a tour of the bag while we talk dimensions. This is a very symmetrical bag. The width is 17 centimeters or 6.7 inches. Moving on to the side here, it has gorgeous hardware, by the way. Really nice, says Tots over here, and the D-ring for attaching the strap. <laughs> anyway, depth 8 centimeters or 3.1 inches, and the height is 13 centimeters or 5.1 inches. I was already saying it's perfectly symmetrical. It has no feet on the bottom, but of course it has all of these studs, so in that sense it's actually quite clever. This bag is uh, for the bottom fairly well protected which is nice because this is suede. Chunky hardware here on top, long zipper pull, and you have this, well, you have these two top handles, which fold flat like you would see on a pochette Matisse, for example, but you can also pull them up, which is a neat little detail. Moving on to the interior, also even says Todd's here on the zipper pull. The zipper is not very smooth right now, but it's probably also because this bag is still stuffed. Here we have the shoulder strap, and I think it's common for Tots to put the shoulder straps in an additional dust bag, which is again a nice detail. And here we have the interior of the bag. It has a slip pocket over here, and apart from that, it's just one compartment. It has this soft I suppose microfiber lining. Here we have the card, which I have not taken off, obviously, because this bag is going to go back, and the care card inside. The strap that this bag comes with is between 800 and 125 centimeters in length. Obviously, it is detachable and it is adjustable. The clasps on here swivel, and they also say Thoughts. But the construction of this strap is not like most straps. It comes with these snap buttons. And it's a bit like the construction that I talked about in an earlier video when I was reviewing my Loewe Flamengo bag, where I also explained that there is a version of the Flamengo that comes with this strap that will basically allow you to slide the leather over itself and by doing that, you have to move it over the snap buttons, otherwise it won't work. Oh, and there's also a snap closure here in the center. But this allows you to lengthen the bag. And because it has these multiple snap buttons along the way, 
it does also allow you to wear this strap sort of halfway so in the shorter setting it's a short shoulder back type of strap in the middle setting it is either a shoulder length or it is a very short crossbody length and in the longest setting it really goes to being just a full crossbody back and if you want you can actually make this strap very long so I suppose that it would actually fit a lot of people but because it only has limited settings it might not work for everyone let's move on to what fits in this bag I would say that this bag is a very nice uh, grab-and-go style just for your essentials when it comes to running out to the supermarket for example if it's a phone so both in a flipped condition in my case but also just a full-size smartphone fits very nicely and you see that you actually still have quite a bit of space left let's say i want to pop in some sunglasses that will also fit and still quite a lot of space put in my card holder a lip balm my headphones mints a hand balm keys small bottle of hand sanitizer it is starting to fill up quite a bit but as you can see if you still have some little things that might actually fit it will supposedly also fit a small pouch and it's a very really structured bag so putting all of this in here will be fine will look fine no significant distortion going on here now then what are the pros of this bag it is a very cute style it is a testament to a shoe that has already been around for a little while which i think is beautiful this color is absolutely gorgeous i'm really leaning more towards blue bags recently i know that some people find them hard to style with jeans but for some reason i really find myself gravitating to the blue bags that i have and in that sense this would be a very nice one to add to my collection the detail on this bag is amazing I think we don't really hear all that much about Tots when it comes to leather goods but the detailing is just great this chunky zipper is gorgeous the zipper is not very smooth even now that the bag is open but I think that might improve over time and this is a style that you can wear in multiple ways because of the shoulder strap that is adjustable in length and also because you have these top handles and I think what I really like best about this bag is just how spacious it is when I was stuffing the bag and I was really doing that just for the first time now I was really surprised actually by all of the things that it would fit that it would hold both a phone and some glasses and a small assortment of other things that you might want to carry out I think it might even hold a very small water bottle but mind you it has to be very small but because the basis of this bag is fairly wide it might actually hold more than you initially think then the cons of this bag personally i am not a very big fan of how they have done this strap the idea of having the snap closures is nice but i would just much more prefer a strap with holes in it because i think most people it's just an assumption right but i think most people would wear this bag as a crossbody and that would leave these snap buttons exposed and it is it is not like a cute detail or anything so even though i love the detailing on the clasps and these clasps they swivel and they are very nice and they look very sturdy i think that if i would wear this bag i might actually look around for another strap that has a bit more of a finished look and not all of these snap buttons along it secondly and this is also a reason why i think most people will just wear this crossbody or perhaps as a shoulder bag the top handles are cute but to me they are not very functional there is hardly any drop length and because there's two of them how exactly are you supposed to carry it like this i'm not really sure what the purpose of these top handles are even though they look cute yes you can grab your bag if you're going in and out of your car but i think i would just be more likely to grab it like this or to just grab one of the handles and i don't just see this as a very functional top handle style and then finally for me personally i don't do suede or at least i don't do suede in this price range in my experience suede it just doesn't get more beautiful over time 
and I know the regular leathers also don't really get more beautiful over time but they have a certain beauty to them where they tell a story and if you take good care of them they are still going to look good and for me suede just gets damaged if I may put it like that and I feel there's only so much that you can do to bring new life into it that is one of the reasons I am returning this bag and secondly the price point because I was expecting another bag and not this bag and the bag that I was expecting I'm still getting it uh, so I will unbox it uh, in a couple of weeks I guess but anyway because of that I kind of overpaid for this bag there's cheaper versions on the market this bag by the way comes in two sizes I haven't said that before so this is the smaller size and there's also a bigger size which is also quite cute but I think I would prefer this size because it actually already does fit a lot and it is very boxy also usually I don't really like these boxy type of bags especially not with the zipper on top it's really that it has this top handle detailing let's put it like that that it's gives me a shape that I am quite interested in. I'm also seeing right now that I just keep on sort of pushing back in the side <laughs> over here. Even though it is structured, it is a bit perhaps out of shape, so to say. I think I'll definitely keep this bag on my radar because I know they also have them in leather and they have them, for example, in black with these multi-colored spikes which looks really cute. So I think I'll just be on the lookout for a leather version at a more reasonable price point than this one was. And unfortunately, this one will need to go back. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and or found it useful. If you have any questions for me, drop them down below in the comments and I'll get back to you. Mind that this bag will probably leave me, I think somewhere this weekend. So there's perhaps not all that much I can say about it. But if you're interested in this bag, I hope that at least by reviewing and showing it, I have given you a little taste of what a cute little bag this is. For now, remember there's a styling, a situation and a taste for everything. So don't judge, wear whatever the bag you like. Until next time, or as we would say in Dutch, doei!